What is going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use risers for an open pour aluminum casting. You know, when you pour molten aluminum in an open pour mold, it just globs up on the top because aluminum isn't heavy. It's really light, so it just puddles. If you use a heavy metal like copper, silver, it'll lay flat, but not aluminum. It just globs up on top. So open pour molds never, ever look good. I'm sorry to say it. Not with aluminum, they don't. So today, I'm going to do a test. I'm testing out using a riser for an open pour mold. I'm going to try a 4-inch, and I'm going to try like a 2-inch riser on the top of the open, open casting. Um, so I've already made this video. Um, this is actually, I, I have to admit, this is a video I made about five months ago. I made it for a rainy day, and today is, well, that rainy day. Because I'm kind of burned out, you know, with my two last, uh, my last two castings. Um, the Aluminum Flail, the Witch King Flail, the Witch King of Angmar from the Lord of the Rings. I really hope you guys watched that video, uh, the four videos that I made. It was a... It was about a month long project that I took on and I love the fact that it came out super great. So uh, I'll leave that link in the description. You guys can check that out. Uh, also the brass spearhead that I recently made. Um, I was just kind of burned out for a little bit so I took a little bit, a little break. But uh, stay tuned because I have some beach chairs that I found on the side of the road that I'm going to be melting down and get that pure aluminum out of those beach chairs. It is the end of summer, so now is the time that everybody's throwing out their old beach chairs. So guys, stick around, grab something to drink, and enjoy the video. Leave a comment below, and give it a thumbs up. It was at that moment you knew you messed up. 